Hello, my name is Lauren Collender and I'm going to be talking about adding dynamic menus uh, to apps uh, in ExistDB using the templating modules. This is a follow-on to the XQuery templating presentation that I did earlier. And this is the primary uh, function of adding uh, menus and there are a couple other of adding meta tags and page title but that will be later in the presentation. The example that I created is on my github and it's on menu-demo and, we and we're utilizing maps as in other templating. Uh, the difference uh, for this is we wrap the uh, templates surround uh, tag that is the default, uh, the root in the, uh, uh, the pages that are created by the uh, XI is we wrap that with a page setup and so that returns a menu a map and so and we have three different keys that uh, we are utilizing in this the first is page menu uh, it's a sequence of menu descriptive entries to populate the menu bar we got page title if that's set, then that value is displayed as page title instead of the EX path title. Meta is a sequence of meta entries in the header of the page. So dynamic menus uh, allow for adding multi-level menus and the map entry is page menu and you have a sequence of either menu or menu item and so here the menu contains two menu items then we have the menu item and so that it's a link on the menu bar with no drop down and then the third is a menu with a menu item, a divider, a menu item, and then a sub menu that has a menu item, a divider, and a menu item. And so you can see that in this example. Okay, uh, then I add a function at each because I needed to add the ability to say, don't wrap. And so then, you know, if no wrap is set to true, then for everything that we're going around uh, through uh, the sequence in the model, we do a, just the process of the content and we don't, uh, uh, reveal the tag that uh, the app each was in. And then we have an app model name switch. So you can see here uh, we have the data template key and so that's menu in the data template list and so if it's a menu if the uh, value within the uh, map for the key menu is a item of the name local name being menu then it executes the first which is uh, do an include of templates menu.html if it's a of type uh, name menu item then it's the second 
and if it's divider then it is the third div in the sequence. And so then for the menus, uh, the following three are also needed. App menu name, it's wrapped, and so all it does is return uh, the contents of the name tag uh, in the map entry for menu. And then menu link, it overrides the and will adds the href attribute, which is the URL, and then uh, the menu name as the content. And then app menu setup gets you the menu items off of the menu. And so the children of the menu populates menu items. Okay, and here are the templates that we add. We add menu switch, menu, menu item, divider, submenu switch, and submenu. So the menu switch you saw already, and so it tells us whether we are processing a menu, a menu item, or a divider. And so the menu setup will uh, populate the children of the menu into menu items. And so you can see we've created a drop down, and the name is the name of the menu. And then we do a wrap on. Uh, well, we do an each over the menu items, and we do return the templates include templates submenu switch, and here is a menu item. It's the menu link within a list item. A divider. List item with the class divider and no content. The submenu switch has uh, goes on the list on model name switch and it does either submenu.html, menu item.html, or divider.html. And then submenu has you can see the class is drop down submenu and drop down menu multi level and then menu items so it loop, loops through the menu switch And then these are the additions to the style. This page and this page. And again, all these are in my, on my GitHub entry. And so we change the page.html. Instead of having uh, the unordered list class drop down menu, then list item and a static href uh, to index.html called home. We do on the UL unordered list class nav nav bar. Then we have a data template app each go from page menu to menu. Iterate through that no wrap true and so this uh, div tag disappears and then we do it templates include menu switch and so as you saw how that goes uh, this is the structure 
for the menus. You got menu item and it has a name and a URL. The menu has a name and zero or more menu item, menu divider, and in any order. And so you see again the example that I had before, but surrounded with the menu root. And then after the menus, we have the page title. And so here, if you do uh, in the page setup, you put page dash title and set it to a value, then it returns that instead of the ex path title. And in page.html, change the title, data template app, uh, config app title to app page title. And then meta tags. Here we add a refresh every 30 seconds. And so the header has the meta data template app page meta and it returns the content of the meta tag. And so that is the example of adding uh, many dynamic menus to a exist DB app using the templating module. Uh, if these uh, if these capabilities get incorporated into the base templating, then I will uh, do a follow-on presentation with those changes incorporated. Again, this is Lauren Collender. My company is Great Linkup, and I appreciate your uh, attention.